welcome back this is part 3 of our stock return series previously we created monthly returns from daily stock returns in this lecture we are going to cover how to create industry portfolio returns for creating industry portfolio return there is one additional step that we need to do before uh, creating the industry portfolio returns in the previous lecture we, when we created the monthly returns, it left us with many duplicate values for each firm within each month. If we look at the last uh, column, we can see that the returns values, the monthly return values are all repeated within a given month. So we need, we need to get rid of that and we need to keep just one value for each firm, let's say a bus, for each month, let's say 2016. For Therefore, the current lecture will start with removing duplicate for firms at monthly frequency and next we will create industry portfolio returns. For removing duplicates, we can use the Pandas drop duplicate method. And we'll do that by creating a new data set. We'll call it industry uh, monthly data frame. We can also do the modification within the existing data frame but it is wise not to disturb the existing data frame so that we can always go back and retrieve our data if something goes wrong. So let's start with the creating a new data frame. Our new data frame is INDM and we are applying the remove duplicate, the identification of duplicates on the basis of two columns. First of all, we identify duplicates on the basis of symbols and then on the basis of month. So the we start by typing the name of the data frame then we type the method name the method name is drop duplicates and then drop duplicates can keep several argument the first one is subset subset is equal to um, subset is equal to a python list python list is as you know is wrapped in square brackets if you want to identify duplicates based on a single column we will type just name of the column but if there are two columns which identify the duplicates like in our case it is symbol and m that we write both of them inside the square brackets and separating each one by comma then one more argument we can use uh, we can tell the remove duplicates method to keep either the first observation or the last observation. It doesn't matter because all the values are all similar within the month and symbol group. So let's say you, we use the last. Okay. Now, now it has created a new data frame and we if we read the first few lines, we can see that those duplicate values have been removed for each month. There is only one row for each form. For al -Abbas, let's see, uh, for month January, there is one row. For month February, there is one row. For March, for April. So this is how the duplicates have been removed. Rem remember, we type the data frame name. Then we applied the drop duplicates method. 
we use two arguments with that. The first argument is subset, which takes a Python list. In the list, we use the name of those variables, which would be used to identify duplicate values. And keep option will take the argument of first or last, depending upon which value you want to keep. After remo removing duplicates, now we can go ahead and create industry returns. Industry returns is simply the average of is simply this is simply the average of all forms within the given industry and we want to perform this calculation each month. So there are two grouping variables. One grouping variable is the industry name, and we want to perform these calculation each month. So the second grouping variable is MDAT. So remember how we do that, how we did that. We usually do that in two steps. First of all, we create the grouping object. So the grouping object is created using the group method. The group object is created. First of all, we type the name of the data frame. The new data frame is IndM. Then we type the name of the method that is group by and within the small parentheses which are used for which are used with functions or methods we provide python list python list is wrapped in square brackets and then we provide the grouping variable the first grouping variable is industry name and the second grouping variable is monthly date this will create a grouping object. Now, on this grouping object, we can now perform the calculations. Remember, we used the product function from the NumPy library. So if you haven't already imported NumPy library, it is time to do that. Import NumPy as NP. And now we can use uh, required functions from this library. So in the industry M data frame, we'll create a new variable. Let us call it industry M red, that is industry monthly return. And this variable will be based on the monthly returns of stocks. But the calculation needs to be performed by groups. So, the, so we'll use the group object that we created in the previous step. And from this group object, we select just one variable that is mret. And to this variable, we apply a method transform transform and then apply the NP mean function. And if we see the data head now, we have the industry Industry returns, IND, MRET, in each month. There are still few steps in this lecture series, so do visit the next lecture. For time being, wish you all the best.